Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you all of the tips and tools to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and I do my best to teach some of the insider tricks to having a Rust server. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're doing. If you feel like you get value from this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up for me. All right, let's get right into it. I've had a lot of requests in the comments down below each one of the videos to show how I can give different permissions for the plugin called end teleportation. It's the plugin that we use to teleport from home or to other players. Well, from default, we've got the default settings, plus we've got a VIP section. Well, what if we want more groups than that? Let's say we have more than one level of VIP. Let's say we want to give some of our diehard fans a different permission group. There's an unknown number of reasons why you would want to have different groups for end teleport, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And then you can figure out how you're going to make that apply on your server. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you in game and I'm going to show you the default list of permissions that are available for the plugin right out of the box. All right, so if you have a look at this section here underneath and teleport, you're going to see all of the different permissions that come by default as soon as you install the plugin. So as you can see down here, we've got this one called nteleportation.vip. And that's great if you only have one separate group of people that you want to have different permissions, but we're going to add a couple of more. So of course, to make those changes, we're going to go into the config file for and teleportation, as you can see on my screen right now. So we need to decide which section we want to deal with first. So this, this is basically broken up into two different categories. There's the homes section, as well as the TPR section. So being able to teleport from player to player. So because it comes first in the default config file, we're going to deal with homes first. If you have a look here, you can see these are the default categories for the home section. So anybody in the group called default, which is everybody that joins the server, is going to have a limit of two homes the cooldown of zero seconds, which means they, they don't have to wait from, you know, teleporting from home to home to home. The countdown timer. So once you do slash home and then enter the name of the home, you have to wait 15 seconds from the time you hit enter till it's actually going to teleport you home. Anyways, you guys, I'm, I'm sure you guys have a fairly good understanding. If you've never seen the video where I actually cover the installation and how to actually set this plugin up, be sure to click the card in the top right hand corner right now. I've already done a video on the actual setup process of this plugin. This is just kind of fine tuning it to a little higher degree than maybe what we would cover in a basic tutorial. So I'm going to go through this real quick. I'm going to make some changes and I'm going to edit it out so that you don't actually have to watch me typing, but I'll show you what I've done after I've done all that. Okay. So I've made all the changes that should exemplify exactly what I'm trying to show you. So now you'll notice default group gets a limit of two homes. The donor group and teleportation dot donor group gets five. VIP basic gets seven, VIP elite gets 10. So you can kind of see the process that I'm going through here. So let's go down to the daily limit section. So before I started making any of these changes, I had zero cooldowns for anybody. It doesn't matter who it is, right? From the group default, right up to admins, nobody had a cooldown. So now I've made it so that default players have a cooldown of 60 seconds, which means they can only teleport to their home every 60 seconds. So once they teleport, they have to wait a full 60 seconds before they can teleport home again. So with the donor group, the VIP basic group and the VIP elite group. So basically anybody that I've increased their group level to has a cooldown of zero seconds while everyone else has to wait 60 seconds. The countdown timer that we're looking at right here. So by default, once you hit enter on the command to teleport to your home, it will count down for 15 seconds and then it'll teleport you to wherever it is that you said that you wanted to go. Well, our other groups, the donor group has a 10 second countdown, VIP has a seven second countdown, VIP elite has a two second countdown. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I've also done the same thing for daily limits. So daily limits, the default group can only teleport home 10 times. The donor group can teleport home 100 times. VIP basic can teleport 150 times. And VIP elite has a zero here, which means there's no limitations as to how many times they can teleport home. So let's just save this config file. I'll reload the plugin and then we'll hop back in game and we'll see what our permissions list has done. So now if we go back in and have a look at our permissions list, you can see that the list has changed a little bit. So now we've got the inteleportation.vip, which was there before. Now we've got VIP basic, VIP elite, as well as donor right here. 
So whoever I apply these permissions to, they're now going to get the advantages of the parameters that we've now set out for these different categories. So I'll just quickly do an example on myself. So I'm just going to quickly make a home here. So I've named it home one. So now remember, I'm not in any of these groups yet. So if I do slash home one, teleporting to your home in 15 seconds. So we're just going to cancel that real quick. And I'll hop in and apply myself a permission. Uh, let's just do the VIP elite. So I've now granted myself that permission. Now, if I go slash home one, it's teleporting me in two seconds instead of the 15 that we had before. So you should be able to see it in my chat. Yeah. So before we had it at 15 seconds and because I applied that permission to actually, I applied it to the group called default, but whatever, it changed the, that to two seconds instead. It also says when I set the home, it actually said that I only had a maximum of two homes that you can see right here. So let's remove that home and add a new home. I'll just call that two. So now chat tells me that I have a maximum of 10 homes. So you can see that all of those permissions that we granted in the config file for in teleportation is now taking effect in the game simply because we applied that permission to the group that we wanted to be affected by it. Let's hop back into the config file real quick and I'll show you how you can do the exact same thing. It is the exact same process, but I'm just going to show you anyways so that you can affect the TPR settings as well. So basically all I've done here is I've copied and pasted the, the configuration from the home section and transferred that down into the TPR section. So now, as you can see, by default, cooldown on TPR for default players is 600 seconds or five minutes. Uh, countdown is 15 seconds and the daily limit is set to five. And as you can see here, I've now changed the parameters for each of the different groups. Now each category of, of groups that we've determined will have their own parameters that they'll have to follow. And of course, now that we've made those changes in the config file, because I've already applied the permission earlier to apply to the home section, it's now just going to carry over automatically into the TPR section as well. So now I have those parameter limitations set up because I'd already applied the permission to myself earlier. All right, I hope that clears it up a little bit. Of course, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Now, this is curious on my part. I'd actually like to know what you guys are actually doing with this, why everyone has been asking for uh, this tutorial. I wanna know what you guys are doing. So make sure you leave that in the comment section down below. I wanna know what you guys are doing with this. It sounds interesting. But now I've shown you how to do it. Now I'm asking you to show me why you wanted me to show you how to do it. I hope everyone had an enjoyable and a safe holiday season. The next video that I have coming out will be coming out in the year 2020. So I'll see you guys all next year. Stay safe out there and have fun.